The following video is the most truthful and informative video I've ever watched on TikTok. Take a look and let me know if it reminds you of Truman Show. Now what you are looking at here are the logos of the five government agencies that control our so-called globe, our so-called spinning ball. Now before we identify the logos, let's have a look at this map that hangs on my living room wall. And this map is the Gleason World Map from 1892, number six from the Boston Public Library. Okay, and uh, as you can see here, it was published in the Buffalo Electrotype Engraving Company in uh, New York. All right, and, and as you can see here, it's scientifically and practically correct as it is. Okay, now back to the logos. Here we have the International Maritime Organization, which basically controls our waterways, all of our waterways, how far out uh, we could go into the ocean, uh, the territorial uh, boundaries. Okay, so now, now let's have a deep look into their logo. Now, isn't it awful funny that the people who control how far we can go out in the water have a flat earth map with an ice wall as their logo? Okay, anyways, here we go. The International Civil Aviation Organization. Now, this is the government agency that controls our airways, how far we can fly and where we can fly. And once you fly out too far south, they're going to turn you around. But anyways, let's check out their logo. Okay, as you can see here, hidden in their logo, the agency that controls our airways has the flat earth map with the ice wall around it, hidden right in it. Okay, now here we have the World Meteorological Organization, which basically they control all the mainstream media information we get about storms, hurricanes, and all that good stuff. So, anyways, let's check out what's hidden in their logo. Hmm. The flat earth map. Okay, now here we have the World Health Organization. Now this organization controls all the mainstream media news that we hear about, like COVID-19, Ebola, or any other kind of pandemics going on in the world. But let's have a look at what's hidden in their logo. And as you can see here, the flat earth map with the ice wall around it. Okay, now last but not least, we have the United Nations, which basically control everything, control all the militaries in the world, all of the uh, treaties that are signed in the world. These people control this. And uh, I think it's awful funny that if you look in their flag, they have the flat earth map in their flag. General Assembly Hall where they hold all their meetings and sign all their treaties. Guess what's on the wall right up above them? The Flat Earth Map. Now this all could be just coincidence, but I don't think so. If you look at any map before 1958, it shows a flat earth with an ice wall around it. And all the government agencies that control our airways and our waterways have the flat earth map with the ice wall in their logo. Okay? Now, if you were to try to get in a private plane or on a private boat and try to get too far south to try to find this ice wall, here's what's going to happen. The Navy's going to show up in a battleship or a jet fighter and turn you around and escort you out of the area. Now, let's watch and see what happens when a private boat or a private jet gets too far south. 80 degrees south that is now these guys are nowhere near the ice wall but here's what happens when you get too far south hey it's a navy destroyer he will yield 